cells of the body, for the body in general. The fundamental requirement is energy. Without energy, we're dead. And as energy processing breaks down, we become progressively, we progressively become, we progressively die, slowly die. We age. Aging is really an energy issue. Disease is an energy issue. Death itself is an energy issue. The three systems in the body that help the body deal with energy are the digestive system, which gathers and accumulates the energy from food, the blood sugar system, which stores and releases the energy as, it's, as it builds up and as it's needed, and the adrenal thyroid complex, the third point on the triangle of disease, which, which allocates the energy, distributes the energy. Those are the three points of the triangle of disease, and they all involve energy. The digestive system gathers and accumulates it. The blood sugar system stores and releases it, and the adrenals and the thyroids distribute it and allocate it. And once these three systems, once these systems break down, all disease, it, disease is inevitable. Disease is inevitable at that point. This is why you work on the digestive system, you stabilize the blood sugar system, and you calm the body down, and you feed, you use nutrients for the adrenal glands. Thyroid will take care of itself pretty much. The thyroid will take care of itself. Hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, if you're dealing with a thyroid issue, oh, and almost everybody is, and you don't have to be diagnosed, and you don't have to have your TSH tested, and your T3, and your T4. You don't need that. If you have a chronic degenerative disease, you can just assume you got a thyroid problem despite what your doctor says. I can't tell you how many times I've had people tell me that they have all, uh, tell me they have all the symptoms of, of poor thyroid functioning, including heart disease, including elevated cholesterol, by the way, which goes hand in hand with hypothyroidism, changes in blood fats immediately related to hypothyroidism. Everything is really. I can't tell you how many people I've uh, have told me they got dry skin, they're tired, their digestive system isn't working correctly, they got heart problems or blood fat issues or circulatory issues, but their thyroid is normal according to the test. It cannot happen. It cannot be. It cannot be. It doesn't matter what the diagnostics tell you. The diagnostics, as we say so much, so many times in this program, are statistics, and human beings are not statistics. We're individuals. Statistics and reference values, these are only measurements of large numbers of people. The individuals that make up those large, number, those large numbers are not, uh, their health is not reflective of the statistics. Individuals are individuals, which is why diagnostics is useless. Who knows if you're an outlier or not? Who knows if you fall within those reference ranges? You go by how you feel. And you can rest assured, if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, you're hypothyroid, period. And you're dysglycemic, messed up blood sugar, period. And you've got leaky gut syndrome and a digestive issue, period. And start working that way. How do you know? How can you tell? How can you tell I'm not full of crap and this is all baloney? Your doctor's 100% right. Well, here's how you tell. You stop eating and see, you do your fasting or you do a ketogenic diet or you eliminate problem foods, see how you feel. You reduce your intake of sugar, bread, pasta, potatoes, or count. Anything that's, that breaks down into sugar, fruit juice, fruits. You use nutrients that help you stabilize your blood sugar. You see how you feel. You start to calm the body down. You work with your adrenal glands, which basically involves blood sugar and digestion. And you see how you feel. It's as simple as that, folks. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We'll be back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you. 844 is our number from the journal Nature Microbiology. Wound healing intestinal bacteria. Check this out. You uh, cut yourself, you wound yourself, you burn yourself, and your intestinal bacteria change. And what's more, at least one of these bacteria helps stimulate the healing of your skin. How do you like that? Your digestive system is related to your skin. Where have you heard that before? I'm telling you folks, it, I know I sound like I'm beating a dead horse and I know I'm making it sound simple, but it is, <laughs> it is. How many different ways do we need to see the impact of the digestive system on our health? From Science Daily, from a Rush University Medical Center. This is, uh, this is an article from, uh, I love this website by the way, Science Daily if you're interested. Starving cancer, feeding knowledge. Hematologist Reen Carmali, MD. She studies cancer. Actually, she studies diabetes. And she's studying the use of a diabetes drug to help heal blood cancer. How do you like that? They're using metformin now to heal blood cancer. Why? Because sugar feeds cancer. I'm not beating up on sugar. I'm not beating up on anybody. 
I'm just telling you. It's hidden in plain sight. I love that. Hidden in plain sight. There's so many things that are hidden in plain sight. Talked to a lady yesterday about she breaks out on her chin every time. She thinks it's because she exercises. So I told her, look, you, when you break out, it's not topical 99.99% of the time. It's internal. You got to start working on your digestive system. So I suggested to her, if you want to see how this thing works, let's do an elimination diet and start by fasting for three days. She says, oh yeah, I noticed that when I don't eat, my skin improves. She says this to me. And yet she still thinks that, and I'm not beating her up. I don't want to sound mean here. But she thinks that it was the exercise that was causing her to break out. Yet she knew that when she didn't eat, she, her skin improved. And I said, can you see, I told her, can you see what's happening here? It's hidden in plain sight. We don't make these connections. Here's another juicy one. I love this one. This one is from the Proceedings of National Academy of Science. Studies suggest a remarkable approach to multiple sclerosis treatment. Oh, you know what they're doing now? They're giving you synthetic bile, bile salts. Yes, the very same bile salts that help you digest fats. The very same bile that is perhaps the most underappreciated of all the fluids in the body. Synth now they're giving synthetic bile to treat multiple sclerosis. How do you like that? A synthetic one, though, not real bile. Not, not stimulating your own bile. A synthetic one, i.e., a drug company version of bile. So, of course, your doctor write a prescription for this. He's not going to say... Make sure you take your ultimate enzymes, which contain bile acids and bile salts. If you want to pick a multifunctional, uh, there's a few, but one of the most of multifunctional of all the longevity products, you couldn't find one more multifunctional than the ultimate enzymes. That thing's amazing, and the, not the least of which it has all kinds of ingredients, and they're all important, not the least of which is the bile acids and the bile salts. Hidden in a plain sight. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Indiana. Welcome, Pat, to the Bright Side. What's going on, Pat? Well, I'm calling about our son. Okay. He's got work-related uh, lungs, but his, they found a big tumor on his thyroid, and okay. they want to take it right out. The, they want to take the whole thyroid out? Yeah, because they say there's like little hairs or something like growing from it. Well, I can't. Uh, did they stage it? Did they tell you what stage cancer no, he's at? I did the biopsy yesterday, but. Okay, so I can't tell you what to do there because I don't know how far progressed it is. And cancer, once it progresses, you got to do what you got to do. But the thyroid, you want to do everything you could do to not remove that thyroid. Do not let them tell you he'll be fine. Do not let them tell you he'll be normal without a thyroid. Do not let them tell you they'll just give him Synthroid and everything will be hunky dory. It won't be. So you have to do everything you can do to keep that thyroid. So if, uh, find out from your doctor how far along it is. Uh, if it's stage one or stage two, personally, I would not be taking the whole thyroid out. Now, I can't tell you that because I don't know how far along he is. Well, he that having been so said, the burden on the thyroid, uh, when you have a cancer, you've got a cell that's burdened. And so your job is to, and as you, if you've listened to this program or even just the last half hour or so, we talked about the relationship between thyroid health and the rest of the body. If the thyroid is overworked, that is thyroid cells are overworked, or if they're starved or they're uh, suffocating or they're toxic, this is where cancer comes from. You understand that cancer is a, it's a way that the cells are coping with a, with a toxic, starved, or, or oxygen-deprived environment. They're just dealing. You know what I mean when I say they're just dealing? It's a survival strategy. So the, what you want to do is you want to tell those cells that they're loved and they're taken care of. And you, don't, you can do it with words and you can do it with thoughts. But I'm talking about with nutrition. I'm talking about with oxygen. I'm talking about with detoxification. So first of all, the most important thing at this point is to clean the blood. That's the most important thing. If you could do chelation therapy, if you can have a, a, some, a naturopath or a chiropractor or even a medical doctor do chelation therapy, that's helpful. You can also do nutrients that will help chelate the toxicity. Vitamin C will do double duty because it's wonderfully anti-cancer. So making sure you could do IV vitamin C or you can make sure that he's taking enough vitamin C orally. IV is always the best if you're dealing with these kinds of acute emergency situations. So uh, that's another uh, uh, anti-cancer strategy for you. Ketogenic diet, love this one. The ketogenic diet is a calm the blood down diet. It's a low sugar. They say high fat and they say moderate protein, but basically it's a low sugar diet, low carbohydrate diet. Cancer and sugar are linked hand in hand. So he can't eat like normal, all right? He has to eat. He can't eat like his friends. How old is your son, by the way? He's 54. 
Okay. Well, he's a young man. It's working in his favor. So he can, if he does all of these things, you're, Pat, his job is right now to strengthen his body, not to take care of the cancer. This is a subtle point, but a very important point. The doctors aren't going to tell you that. They're going to tell you we're going to take care of everything. I'm telling you, let the body take care of it. Let, as long as it's not in stage three, stage four, where it's metastasized or it's, you know, you're, in, you're in dire straits, let the body do its work. Calm the body down. Strengthen the body. I'm telling you, if you take that thyroid out, if he takes his thyroid out, the, the, he, the rest of his life, he's going to be suffering. He's going to be dealing. Now, it may be that he needs to do that. I don't know. But if he doesn't have to, a sh- low sugar diet, chelation therapy, focus on digestive health, make sure he's using nutrients to stabilize his blood sugar in addition to being on the blood sugar diet. That would be chromium, vanadium, the sweeties, all your B-complex. In fact, you can do B-complex IV. There's something called a Myers cocktail, which is an IV nutritional strategy. IV glutathione, another one. Uh, if you can't do IV any, on any of these, just do them orally. Glutamine uh, helps you build glutathione. Uh, something called NAC, NAC, or N-acetylcysteine will help as well. That's also a chelating agent, too. That'll magnetically attract toxins out of the blood. I hope I'm not giving you too much information here because these are all valuable strategies. Uh, also, oxygenation, hyperbaric oxygen chambers. A lot of hospitals have those. That can be helpful. Make sure always when you're doing hyperbaric oxygen, by the way, that you're doing your antioxidants also because you've got to protect against oxygen in addition to oxygen being important. Veggie juices, get a vitamin mix do all the veggie juices you can mushroom aloe are also wonderfully anti-cancer polysaccharides in mushrooms and polysaccharides in aloe there's something called beta glucan which you may have heard of Uh, longevity has a beta glucan product beta glucan is a sugar that's found everywhere uh, so it's not not difficult to find but you could do straight beta glucan look at the longevity products selenium is extremely important for the entire immune system it's like a little battery that charges the anti-cancer chemistry in the body the glutathione chemistry so uh, using selenium in addition to intravenous glutathione or oral building blocks of glutathione can be helpful too Pat there's so many more things you can do uh, if you hang tight I'll just we'll talk about the thyroid a little bit and then if you're on hold stay there we'll get to you as well 844-236-6010 is our number on pharmacist ben we'll be back after this all right we're back on the bright side 844-236-6010 is our number from groningen university in the netherlands quote there is convincing evidence that nutritional depletion is a significant factor in adverse long-term health effects unquote study uh mapped the reasons why some populations age healthier age healthier than others And uh, they found that, surprise, surprise, elderly folks who had more hypertension, more obesity, more degenerative diseases also had more nutritional depletion. No surprise there. Nothing about drugs. They didn't say drug depletion. I know it's common sense, but, you know, why do we even need studies like this? Of course it's common sense. All right, Pat in Indiana. We're talking about cancer. Uh, Pat? Uh, you said he had a tumor on his thyroid, correct? Yes. And okay. I want to know, uh, it, we I'm have assuming... a Robert Beck uh, little machine. Is that chelating? Is no, chelating blood? is in the blood. Chelating is when they put, is where you either eat or somebody injects a magnet. I, I say magnet, it's not really a magnet, but I want you to think about it that way. Mm-hmm. They inject little magnets in the blood that suck up the toxins, magnetically attract the toxins, and then flush mm-hmm. them out of your body. Uh, 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 electrical that you said a Beck machine a Robert Beck machine yeah well Robert Beck is a incre- he was an MD who wrote some incredible stuff about electromagnetic fields and the elect- the bioelectronical nature of the body yeah. I think they're just calling this machine a Robert Beck machine because it does something electrically but you're still looking at it the wrong way you're not lo- you're looking at it as how do we help how do we fix it how do we fix the problem what I'm telling you is you want to strengthen the body calm the body down and so the ketogenic diet, uh, food elimination, patching up the digestive system, chelating agents, uh, uh, nutrients like vitamin C and the B-complex, magnesium. So and so- All these vitamins, is that chelating? They'll, a lot of them will chelate, absolutely. A lot of them will act as chelating agents, that's correct. But they, a lot of them will work just to strengthen the body. And then calming the body down is also important. The thyroid is very responsive to stresses. Remember, the thyroid, I was saying earlier, the thyroid is allocating energy to where it needs to be allocated. So under conditions of stress and under conditions of emergency, chronic that is, the thyroid is bound to be stressed out. It's bound to burn out. 
And so when you have a tumor in that area, chances are pretty good that thyroid cells have been burdened and stressed and overwhelmed 